Jim has received scores of 74 and 81 on his first two 100 point tests. What score must he get on his third 100 point test to keep an average of 83.2 or greater? Now let's remember, in order to calculate average, you add up all of the numbers and then divide by however many numbers there are, and then that will give you the average. So the values that we're looking at in this question, we have 74 plus 81, and then we don't know what Jim is going to get on his third exam. And a lot of times in algebra, when we don't know a value, we give it a variable. So I'm going to say plus x, where x represents Jim's third exam score. And in order to calculate the average of those three numbers, we would need to divide by 3. And we want that average to be greater than or equal to, because it says here they want an average of 83.2 or greater. So we want it to be greater than or equal to 83.2. Now, what do we do from here? We're trying to solve this inequality for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3, and I'm going to multiply the right-hand side by 3. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that the 3 in the denominator on the left-hand side will disappear. So let's go ahead and do 83.2 times 3, and that gives us 249.6. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to add 74 and 81. So I have 155 plus x. Now the last thing that I want to do in this inequality is I want to subtract 155 from both sides. OK, so that means that in order for Jim to get an average of 83.2 or higher on his third test, he needs to get a score of 94.6 or higher. That concludes this example.